Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I create a lot of content for MSPs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up custom branding for the Windows 10 Autopilot experience. So I've created another video uh, for the full implementation of Windows 10 Autopilot that I'll link below here, but in this video, I'm solely going to be focusing on the custom branding that you see here. So this is a finished product, so this is either when you do change management within a company and perform an autopilot reset and give that to a new user, or you take a new device that you've ordered from a supported OEM provider and you've customized it for this particular user. So you'll see here you have your company branding uh, for that particular customer. You have a predefined name uh, from Active Directory that you can assign and, and uh, put a naming convention on. And then here you have the tenant ID or the tenant name, which is usually the customer's business name. So this is all pretty white labeled here and it creates a better experience for the end user when they actually do uh, boot up that device. And all they have to do here is put in their password. So at uh, Microsoft Inspire this year, they recently rebranded the Device Management Administration Center um, into the Endpoint Manager portal here, but still the same uh, features and functionalities. It's kind of changed things around a little bit here. One common confusion, though, um, that I think they'll change soon enough uh, due to feedback is it's kind of confusing where if you go under tenant administration here, you have branding and customization. And this is where you would think you could add your logo for the Windows 10 autopilot service. But if you look up top here, it's um, basically talking specifically to Intune, like the company portal app, Intune app for Android, the Edge app, etc. here. And if you're giving some frustrations because you've added your logo here, but it's not showing up, uh, this is not the place to actually do that. So um, what you want to do is actually go under the Azure Active Directory portal here. And in the Azure Active Directory portal, you can click on this blade and come down to company branding. Now, if this is your first time setting this up, you'll have a configure button on this page. But since I've already done this, I already have it listed. Regardless, it takes you to the same location here. Up top, I haven't configured this, but you can configure your background image and logo for when somebody's signing in on a browser, for instance. It'll uh, it'll brand the page after they type in their username um, by capturing that domain. And then down below here, this is the actual logo that you're going to want to upload for the autopilot service. And just take note of the size limitations here, 240 pixels by 240 pixels. So if you need to re-image the logo uh, to meet those sizes, that'd be a good idea. Otherwise, it's either could have come across blurry or misconfigured or something like that. So after you do that, you can click on save and that'll load up here. If you're doing some testing, uh, give it like 10, 15 minutes uh, to actually populate. Um, it's not gonna show up right away. Under the properties section here is where you can change the directory name if you did want to change it to something else. Uh, and that's again what they see when they have that little pop-up from the out-of-box experience. And uh, lastly there from the naming convention, that is something we're going to do back in the endpoint manager portal. So if you go under the devices section here, click on Windows under platform, click on Windows enrollment, and then go under the devices section. If you've already assigned the uh, device to a particular user, you can click on it. And here you see user friendly name, and that's again what they see when they boot that up. So naming convention is completely up to you. You could do first name, first name, last name, nickname, whatever you feel like is appropriate. Um, and then if you've never assigned a device, you can click on the checkbox, click on assign user, and you can filter through their Active Directory to assign that, and then it'll uh, subsequently bring you to the screen where you can define that naming convention. And again, lastly, finished product, when they do go through the out-of-box experience, this is what they're going to see from those settings. That's everything I wanted to show you guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to tag them below.